Hi, everyone. Welcome to a new episode. Uh, today, we have a crypto tax pro that is going to give a whole bunch of insights for newcomers to crypto, experts alike, uh, tips and tricks on what to expect for reporting uh, your taxes for crypto um, and ways that you can very easily alleviate maybe your tax responsibilities and keep a hold of more of your profits. So uh, his name is Joe Rybin, and thank you for joining us, Joe. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. I had uh, some questions actually from uh, some uh, subscribers. He lives in Taiwan. He's a UK citizen and he had a ton of questions about like <laughs> jurisdictions and, you know, their tax year is different than this tax year and different currencies. And so your, your uh, kind of concept of, um, you know, just uh, good faith, uh, disclosures within the U.S. Do you think that's also similar to other countries as well as everyone kind of on the same page in that regard? Or um, uh, I know I know that's a hard question to ask. That's Yeah, that's jurisdictional. I Since I'm not a Taiwanese lawyer, nor am I a UK lawyer, uh, especially with Brexit, I'm not sure how they're reworking their their crypto laws. They're, they, yeah. you know, they're kind of on their own now. They, they bailed from the EU. Um, I can't answer that one with any degree of confidence, uh, especially Taiwan. Uh, I, I do have a couple of clients in England that are companies, but it's it's company reporting. You know, you report when you make make money on you know on crypto. Obviously, you bring in an asset and you have to report it. It's not you're not hiding you know revenue. Mm -hmm. So it's it's one of those things where in, individually I can't speak to that, but I would say definitely contact a lawyer in your local jurisdiction. And you know, make sure they're a tax lawyer, make sure they or a crypto lawyer, make sure they actually understand this this industry and this asset class. And most lawyers will give you a free consultation. I always do for my clients, just to make sure you know we're a good fit. I'm I'm never insulted by if I'm not a good fit for somebody. That's great. I I, I always wish people the best. I'm a I'm a happy person in general. I, I you know I, I want people to be happy and and work with somebody they feel confident in. But you know that that would be my my first step would be to contact a, a crypto attorney in your home jurisdiction and, you know, see what they say. Yeah. It's really, it's interesting seeing this all play out, how quickly the crypto space is advancing and, you know, people are really starting to see profits, but at the same time, they, they want to play by the rules and it's right. not quite there yet on the other side. So we're kind of yeah. in the, in the middle ground right now. Yeah, so. that's exactly right. Crazy. But um, I'm trying to think. Oh, well, well I, I have one. Um, so with the uh, with so many people that are digital nomads now that want to live overseas as well and don't spend too much time in the U.S., uh, I know there's a exemption, right? A foreign tax exemption. What? Yes. Could you explain it a little bit? Um, yeah, it does. It, uh, usually most countries do have some sort of foreign uh, tax exemption, but there are non-resident or um, you know, foreign returns, you know, foreign resident returns that you can file in the US to claim your crypto as well if you'd like to keep your US citizenship. And that is a path you can go. Uh, you can still set up an entity here as owned by a foreign individual or a non-resident individual. And you can still have that entity here be your trading vehicle if, if you so choose. Mm -hmm. That does allow you to keep your, what we call contacts or point of contact in the legal industry with the US and, uh, you know, still stay here and keep your, your income here and show that there was some sort of legal cash up. Uh, if you are going to be a, a more of a digital nomad, I do recommend going the way you guys went though and, and really renouncing your citizenship and finding a country that's very crypto friendly or even two and splitting your time between those two countries in the year, during the year. And uh, because most countries requirements are you stay, you know, about half a year or exactly half a year to become a citizen. So okay. you can split that up. Now, somebody can spend like 330 days out of the year and get like a hundred and something thousand off their taxes. Is that correct? Oh, from the U.S.? From the U.S.? Uh, I have to look into that. I, I honestly offhand don't remember, but there there are exemptions where um, there are foreign exemptions for different countries and different regions that, okay. that, that do cater to you know people. Because the U.S. at the end of the day does like having income. We're a capitalist society, of course. And we want our government institutions do give benefits for, you know, still claiming in the U.S., even if you are living in a foreign foreign state or foreign country. But it'd be really great to do this every year to yeah. keep up with what's happening. 
because yes. I know a lot of people that watch us are in the U.S. So um, yeah, probably the majority, sure. right? Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. So um, yeah, it'd be great to have you on like every year. Love to do this. So, and then you'll have all your software up updated, and you can tell us all about it and yeah, see how yeah. Mandala is doing. So, so how can people reach you? Those who watch this interview, they're super interested as they should be um, for your insight. Uh, how can how can they get a hold of you? Sure, um, it's uh, pretty easy. My email is Joe J O E at Reben. My last name R E I B E N Biz B I Z Law L A W dot com. All one word. Um, and my father is Rich at RebenBizLaw.com. Uh, we have our website down. Like I was saying, we've had some shuffling in and out of law clerks, uh, attorneys over the last few months. And, um, you know, we're, we're re reworking that, but we should have that up in the new year. Um, and uh, just contact us there. We'll get back to you within 24 hours. And, you know, we're very diligent and prompt about how we answer people. And then we just kind of start from there and move from there. Obviously, uh, that that's a preferred way. And, and once we start working together, you know, number, all that good stuff. Obviously, I don't, I'm not trying to, to hide any work numbers, but I'm also not putting it out there. So I get bombarded with calls around around the holidays. And, uh, you know, I get enough, my work phone and my cell phone are the same. So I get enough <laughs> calls from clients enough. all day. So <laughs> cool. Yeah. Also, I'll go ahead and put your email down below in the video description. Excellent. Excellent. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for your time and your, your input. Um, I think it, it will um yeah, Merry Christmas. Too. People. Yes. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Appreciate it. Same to you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Toby. Thanks. Bye. Bye.